this is Jim Fowler with Carly Fuels in Alaska, and today we're here to talk to you about tank care for your home heating tank. One of the things that the homeowner should do on a monthly basis is come out and do an inspection of the tank. You're looking for a number of things, loose fittings, leaks, a strong odor of fuel that's persistent, dead or dying vegetation around the tank that indicate that fuel is leaking and being absorbed by the vegetation. Um, you're looking for pitting and scarring. You're also looking at the bottom of the tank for corrosion here or a long wet line called a weep line that indicates that you do have corrosive issues inside the tank. You're going to want to check all the valves, the on-off valves, to make sure that they work. You're going to check your filter, your filtration, to make sure that there's no water in the filter, um, that, there's, that it's, there's no leaking taking place in the filter housing. So you're looking for the access to make sure that everything's clear. You're also looking to make sure the tank doesn't lean or tilt. As you can see on the end of the tank, there is a gauging chart. This is important for two reasons. One, it allows the homeowner to come out, take a measured stick, graduated stick, and stick it in the tank, see how many inches of fuel register, and then go to the chart, see how many gallons are in his tank in case he wants to call for fuel and is not on a Crowley keep full system. Uh, this customer is on a Crowley keep full system, so he doesn't need to do that, but it also gives him the option of checking his tank for water. This is one of the things you want to do to ensure that you don't have issues in the winter or that you do not have water traveling down the feed line and into your furnace and causing damage or, or issues that you need to deal with. The reason you want to do this on a monthly basis is, you know, uh, climate condition, things can change very rapidly. And the sooner you're made aware of that, the sooner you can take uh, uh, corrective actions. You do need to be aware of, and I'll point this out right now, is this tank, tank is underneath three trees. So you need to be aware that it is possible for falling limbs to damage um, the fittings on the tank. Or you can have snowfall come off in the winter and, and hit the tank. And then once a year, you want to come out here and do an annual makeover of the tank. You're going to want to come out and see if it needs to be painted. We recommend that you paint the tank in a light color uh, to reduce the chance of condensation. Another way of reducing condensation with the tank is to keep the tank full in the off season. Uh, the homeowner here has done that. This tank will not build water because there's no room for it to sweat. We recommend at the end of summer before winter sets in where you have the weather conditions that allow you to do the maintenance, that you do do the maintenance. For more tips and information, you can visit us at our website or call your local Carly representative. We'd be glad to help.